Hi everybody, Mike Brown here again with you. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. We've been talking about everything you need to do to enhance, improve, modify, distort, play with your photographs. Now we're going to talk about another feature of Photoshop that goes beyond photography and that is using text in Photoshop. I think I've got to actually adjust a layer here. There we go. In fact, what you can just see on your screen that I did, this is a document, a layered document using text, and I just had to move it to balance my composition out. So that's another feature of Photoshop. Photoshop is equally as powerful for the world of graphics as it is for the world of pure photography. And the combination there of making layouts um, for various and sundry ads, uh, promotions, posters, all sorts of stuff. For example, um, here is a page of a book. I wrote a textbook on Photoshop, CS3, 4, 5, and I'm now modifying it for CS6. And here is a page that I created from scratch, a page of my textbook. The whole textbook was created in Photoshop. And as you can see, there's multiple layers on a page. We have text. Obviously, we also have shapes, we have document picture layers, we have vector layers, um, all sorts of stuff, but predominantly here, there's a lot of text. So this was all utilized, not just photography here, this is a graphic design page, all done in Photoshop. So text is a very powerful tool, and another one of the Adobe Creative Suite programs called InDesign, which is the layout creation program for graphic designers and art directors where you bring various objects, uh, graphics, photographs, and you create layouts in there with type. The type feature in InDesign is identical to the type feature in Photoshop. So what you're going to learn in this lesson about text applies precisely to the text features in InDesign. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about fonts, which are the actual uh, pieces of text themselves, the different looks to the fonts, the styles of fonts, so, and so, so on and so forth, creating linear text, creating paragraph text, and also a little bit about graphic design. I'll show you how you work with guides and grids. All right, let's get started. All right, let me close out my layers panel. And let's just fit this right into the screen. Here we have the two panels that are associated with the text tool. Now the type tool is down in your toolbox right below the pen tool under the big T. And the shortcut is the letter T. There are four sub-tools. The horizontal type tool, which makes just what it says, horizontal type. Vertical type makes vertical type. The horizontal type mask and vertical type mask tool, I've never used them. They're there, but we're just going to talk about predominantly horizontal type. I'm going to just show you what vertical type looks like. And you see that the icon was sideways, and we'll call this is vertical type. And it's a layer, just like everything you see, it just came in vertically. Okay, we'll delete that. Well, let's go back and set this at our traditional horizontal type. These are your two panels, the character panel and the paragraph panel. Under the window menu, character or paragraphs. Now, I've already pre-put these in my dock. There is the character panel. There is the paragraph panel. They're duplicated right up here so that I can give you indicators as to what's what. I would suggest that you pause this video momentarily and take a screenshot of this document so that you can keep this for reference or just come back and watch the video again. All right, I'm going to open up the character panel. I'm going to detach it and put it right here inside this document, get a different screen view. Now we can get started.